So this is a table of a bunch of states here. I don't know if they're all of them. There could be all of them. There could be. But what how you read this is, out of all the people registered as Republicans in Alabama, only 49% of them voted. And with Democrats, out of all the registered Democrats, only 68% of them voted. That kind of thing. So that's how you tell. So we're going we're gonna to go ahead and run the right test here. And because we've got two groups, they're both independent. In other words, anybody in the Republican side will not be in the Democrat side and vice versa. So it makes it an independent t-test. So let's go ahead and cut and paste this stuff into SPSS. Copy. First, I'm going to stick it through Excel. Paste. Boom. Clean it up a little bit. Boom, 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 boom. So this isn't ready for SPSS yet. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. And the Republicans, we're just going to mark with ones. One, one. Do it the quick way. So these guys are all the Republicans. Now I'm going to cut and paste these Democrats the data. Underneath the first one, and these will mark with a two to mark them as Democrats. Two, two, two. And again, we'll just do it the shortcut. Boom. So now we're ready to move this data. One means Republican, two means Democrat. And we don't need this file Democrat anymore. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. set to go and that's no longer Republicans but we don't need to do that okay so we're gonna highlight all the data <laughs> we're gonna jump back to our SPSS we're gonna get a couple of blank ones here paste okay so this is the percent and this is the Democrat or Republican so we're gonna go ahead and mark those the Republicans were a one right Correct thinkers of the Democrats were the twos. <laughs> Throw a little politics in there. Bam. And we'll name it uh, Political Party. Spell it right Political Party. And this one is, we'll just mark this as percents. Okay, and then this one is, get out of here, you. This one is a categorical variable. This one is a scale variable. And now we are ready to run our t test. So I'm going to run the t test and then answer all the following questions. So we're going to go to compared means, independent sample t test, grouping variable is political party. And we used ones and twos, they already preset, and then percents in here. And there is our output. Okay, so let's answer the first question. First question is, where are you? Please hold. What is the null hypothesis? That's the first question. Yes, sir, right? Null hypothesis states there's no difference between the two. So that would be, there's no significant between the band voters. This one, it would be this one. Bam. Okay, moving on to the next question. The DV. The DV is the percentage of registered voters reg voting. That's it. Okay, the dependent variable are these numbers, and that's the percent that voted, right? So percent of voters, that's the right answer. Don't know what that's doing there. And that's why I'm making this video, because it doesn't work for some reason. And then what type of t-test should be used? That should be an independent t-test because it's got two independent groups. Moving on. Don't look at the broken video. Is this one-tailed or two-tailed? If we're just looking for a significant difference, that makes it a two-tailed test. Right? We're not picking one over the other, so that makes it a two-tailed test. What's the t-test statistic? And that should be right here. 
not right there, but, but right here. Not right there again, but right here. Boom. T-test statistic comes out to be 0 0.916. Zero point nine one six. 0.916, there it is right there, close enough. Uh, what's the p-value? P-value is 0 0.362, 0 0.362, 0 0.36, right, we're rounding. And is there a significant difference? No, there is not. And that's all there is to it. Hope this helps. MGZ out.